Muhammad Ali has been on the show, I suppose, six or seven times, and uh, he is usually introduced first, but we thought it was only fair to introduce Ken first tonight since you beat him the last time out. Fair enough? No argument. Okay, would you welcome Muhammad Ali? You'll... Strange feeling coming on your show in my room. Yeah. We thought we would have, I don't know how many people have actually seen a weigh-in or why they have them. And, uh... yeah. Are you actually going to have a weigh-in? Well, yes, but you know the official way it is. How, how, what is it official? How long before the fight? I think a day before the fight. Yeah. Sunday, yeah. yeah. In other words, no matter what you weigh, you could, you could change before, uh, before the next day, right? I've been studying you seem UFOs. quite reserved tonight. What? I've been studying UFOs. Did you know there are UFOs out here flying around unidentified? <laughs> this it. would be the place for them, Southern I'm California. I'm serious. They sighted a bunch over Georgia. I've seen them at night. Uh, they have real photos of them, and the government and the people just completely seem like don't talk about it. But um, Mr. Harold Salkin of Washington, D.C., is the head of the National UFO Bureau. Right. He brought me moving films. I actually have moving pictures of little saucers of gray steel objects coming into pictures that people took, and I'm just surprised that don't nobody talk more about it. Something they can Another do. great insight into the fight game. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I read that. But did you read the thing last night on the, on the news? No. That some physicist said that what the people of Georgia might have seen were that there are, there are probably several thousand satellite objects no. Going around no, the United States, around the Earth, and sometimes they disintegrate and they come back into space. Not 50 feet over the highway. Well, it could. It's got to land somewhere. No. They call it swamp gas and something. They don't want, I don't know what it is, but I think I do. But they actually, there are actual saucers and objects coming within our atmosphere and flying around, and people got pictures. Everybody sight the same thing in every city, the red and blue and green lights. But the people, the authorities completely brush it off as if to say, we are mentally off, but I know it's right because I've been seeing them. Well, why don't they land then, Muhammad? I mean, if, now, if they're intelligent people, why wouldn't they land and step out and say, hi there, or Gowan Ding, whatever they say? You know, why wouldn't they make contact? Uh, they probably figure they can't get no sense out of the people here in this country. <laughs> We've never talked about that on the show. I didn't know you really believed in UFOs. I have photos. I have moving films. Yeah, but can't they can, you know, motion picture this film, and you're no smart enough to know this. that in still pictures they can, not these, they can phony these, those these up. Are, these are not phony. Ken, how do you feel about it? Do you believe they're flying saucers? I'm an innocent bystander. <laughs> but you've seen them. And the night, the one you can see on Tuesdays and Thursdays is like a big bright star if you go out. <laughs> Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's like a big, big star. Are you sure you're up for this I'm, fight? I'm serious. If you're thinking about that, when your Monday night comes, he's going to knock your head off. No, I'm serious. You're going to say serious. it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> he's going to give you such a shot. No. No, it's not, it's not 10 o'clock. It's 4 and 5 in the morning. 4 and 5 in the morning. Oh. Seriously, it's like a big, bright star and you see it moving and it'll go up and disappear and get real small like a pinhead and then it'll come back and it'll shake and then it might go over here and it'll go over here. Seriously, I'm serious, I'm not- Well, I know you're serious in your belief. I, I, I don't have to believe in it myself. This is anybody who's got eyes is belief. Well, you, you can see a lot of things, but that doesn't always make them well, so, objects so, from other so planets. So that, what about the fight? Well, yeah, what about the fight? Monday night, right? Well, we just come in for the weekend, I saw. Well, I read about it in the paper today. You had, you had I some wasn't more. told that we had to sit out here and talk. <laughs> you tricked me. You're pulling a Howard Cosell on me. That's not true, and you know it. But I read in the paper yesterday, you already were in the papers yelling and screaming about your accommodations when you showed up. Oh, you didn't yes. like the hotel room. You didn't, you didn't said you didn't have any place to train. Well, all I'm of, sure all of these Ken things. will bear witness the last five or six days of a fight is like a countdown on a rocket ship, like when the man is saying, you know, five, four, three, two. If anything happens, they stop the whole operation. All these people in Houston, millions of dollars and billions of dollars at stake, big rocket ship, everybody on the post looking at lights and buttons. If one little thing go wrong, they stop it. 
and I got everything taped down now for 15 long weeks. I'm down to about 207 pounds. Last time was 225. I've did everything perfect for 15 weeks, chopped down 185 oak trees, been running up mountains, eating raw meat. I'm ready. And here I get to the hotel, and we stand at the Marriott Hotel. It wasn't their fault, the new Marriott. And I was you know, there to get, my, get free rooms for this. I knew, I'm at the new Marriott Hotel. Uh, you already got a free saucer. Yeah. <laughs> I got a free what? Free flying saucer. Oh, you know, oh, a little humor there. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we come